watching the Entrepreneurial SME. And if you've just joined us, we have the award-winning founder of Delivery Gas Speed, Hudi Rahit Mohajani, sharing his entrepreneurial journey. What does it take, Hudi, to, to do to run a business like this, right? I don't think all businesses are the same. And I, I would imagine this one is its own characteristics. What yeah. does it take? I think one, you need to get a team that aligns with the purpose of the business, right? You know, with everybody at the office, everybody has that someone at home who's unemployed because of the fact that they stay in an area where there's low opportunities, right? And we all want that person to be employed, mm. to participate in the family, you know, uh, costs and all of that. Yep. But because there's no opportunities in our townships, you know, that person is just staying at home and most of the times they're even older than us so for us as young people we are coming into this business and saying let's create opportunities in our townships let's create employment in our townships so that all these people who are in our families can start working and that's one thing that we try to align our team with so everybody who gets into our team can understand why we exist and the drive is more than just the profit and you know how many orders we make per day. Once again, you've mentioned unemployment a few times, lack of opportunities. Uh, then when you create this business, who exactly buys the food? Because people are unemployed. They, you're painting a picture of the entire community that doesn't have <laughs> any income. 100%. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it, that's not entirely the case, right? There are still people who want convenience, right? Yeah. There are people, the working class, you know, your government, you know, employees, yeah. the school teachers, the yeah. nurses, the police officers, they stay in our townships. And you will understand for them, lunchtime is not to go and look for food. Well, you lose 30 minutes before you start doing anything. 100%. Right? So yeah. those are the guys that need the convenience more than anyone. Those guys should be easy to find, I think. And I'm not you know, making your light of your business. It is signing up the suppliers in the platform that yeah. would have been a tougher uh, ask on your yeah. part. Yeah. Talk to us about that. It is tough. Yeah. I think uh, I, it, it is an anti-competitive, you know, market. There's a big player now, uh, international player that is leaving the SA market because of these, you know, um, um, reasons. Yeah. Um, but I think for us, look, the fight cannot stop. If you look at why we're fighting, um, it's, it's the, the cost is so much bigger for us to give up on signing on these merchants. I mean, on our platform, we do have these big brands. We have local merchants as well, which is a differentiator yeah. for us. So guys, and Mokoru and Bab and all that, yeah. we have those on our platforms. So, but the fight doesn't, doesn't stop. What are the plans for the future? I think uh, so by the end of next year, 2024, we should be national. At the moment, we are in three provinces, Limpopo, Gauteng, and Northwest. And it's exciting that there's a lot of demand outside there that says we need delivery gas speed because we need convenience and we need to alleviate the youth unemployment in but our area. But won't there be more competition? You know, you did mention that even peri-urban areas, your Soweto's and stuff like that, you would like to go in there. Yes. Is it not going to be tougher than Haman Skral there? Yes, we are in Soweto actually. Already, yes, as we yes, speak. Yes, we are in Soweto. We are in most of the townships in Gauteng. Look, I think competition is good. I think competition will keep us to innovate. Yeah. And, and we shouldn't be scared of, of, of competition. I think for us, when we see young black people coming up with e-commerce ideas or last mile delivery ideas, it actually, you know, makes us proud mm. because we've somehow paved the way for them to, 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 to believe yeah. that it's possible to own an e-commerce business in a township. Excellent. So, I got one last question before I go to my fun questions. Sure. Mm. How do you measure your success? Definitely by the amount of people who are getting positive impact from our platform. I mean, I look at when I'm feeling low, I just go to any township that we operate in and I see these guys rocking new sneakers, you know, with the new haircut and with a new phone. And you can see they're happy. That's all they wanted. They wanted an opportunity to participate in the economy. And I'm just glad that we're getting more and more of those guys. And that's what success is for me. Brilliant. So let's conclude this. Have you ever thought of quitting? Yeah, so many times. Why? Um, look, I think it, it's part of business. I think if, if you don't feel like quitting at any point, then there's something wrong with you. And but therefore, what keeps you going there? Like I said, the guys, I just go to the township, you know, so we have a platform and some mornings are so tough for me. But until I see these guys clocking in and saying on shift, on shift, on shift, I'm just like, there's so many people who are dependent on this platform. What do you do for fun? I cycle. 
Um, um, I cycle, I have a dog, I walk with... Cycling is called exercise, mate. It's not fun. <laughs> but that's my fun. <laughs> Give me a chance. Would you do this again? 100%. Whiskey, coffee, tea? Coffee. Excellent. <laughs> thank you very thank much, you. mate, and all the best. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you for watching the Entrepreneurial SME from me, Rems Mabote. Good night and God bless. Welcome business, behind South African businesses drive to thrive.